Hi, I'm Don Damari, and you're listening to another episode of the Teaspoon of Healing audio blog. Now, just a reminder, although this isn't a traditional podcast, you can find these wherever you get podcasts. So at Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And today I'm going to talk about Halloween and holiday traditions. So when Halloween rolls around each year, it really feels like the kickoff to the holiday season, at least in the United States. And so with holidays come celebrations and also a lot of traditions. Traditions for Halloween and other holidays, they're a really big deal. They give meaning to our lives and to our years. Traditions help us forge strong bonds with each other, with family and friends, and to our communities. And these traditions give us a sense of belonging. They're really important. Holidays also provide exclamation points to the year. Without them, the year kind of flows together without any highlight. They also provide something for us to anticipate throughout the year and to plan for. Memories and traditions, they also connect us to our history, to previous generations, and to those who have passed on. They live on through our traditions. Now, holiday traditions seem even more important this year because after 2020, 2020 left so many of us unable to celebrate like usual, unable to gather, and that left a real gaping hole in the year for most of us. Without these celebrations, no matter how small our celebrations might be, and with the isolation, it really felt like the year seemed to pass without any punctuation. So this year, although we're still in the pandemic and things are still pretty chaotic in the world, things are a little better. People are more optimistic that we're either just going to have to live with it, there's vaccines, and so on. We really need the holidays this year, and people are feeling more optimistic. Now, Halloween has a lot of traditions as well. It connects families with young children to other families and it connects people with their neighbors with your if you take your kids trick-or-treating you may never meet your neighbors your neighbors everybody just goes into their house either through the garage door or front door and don't really have the time to talk to each other but if you have kids on Halloween and you take your little kids out it's a great way to meet the neighbors and Halloween also has a lot of ties to ancient Celtic traditions and Catholic traditions. And according to Celtic and Gaelic traditions, the veil between the living and the dead is the thinnest. So it's a great time to honor our ancestors and think about friends and family who have passed on. Now that I have kids, they're teens now, though. Halloween really does revolve around them. And, of course, now they prefer to trick-or-treat with their friends or do stuff with their friends. But I still love Halloween. I love the adult parties. And there's a street in my town that closes off uh, to traffic. So it's just one big event pretty much for adults and kids alike. And, yes, sometimes I swipe some candy from my kids' loot. So I love that, too. Now, for Halloween traditions for our family and for my memories, we always carved pumpkins on the day before Halloween growing up. And my mom was really good at it. She is so creative and she was such an amazing carver. Now, I didn't inherit that at all, but my kids are really good at it too. And also growing up, after carving the pumpkins, my mom would always scoop out all the seeds and clean up all the gunk on the seeds, rinse them, and then roast them. So I do that as well. I definitely have memories of my childhood costumes and my teen costumes I don't remember all of them, but I distinctly remember being a detective, a ghostbuster, a cat, and a rock star. As far as my childhood community and neighborhood Halloween memories, so growing up, my town and my neighborhood really got into the spirit of Halloween. It was almost a competition in my neighborhood to see which house would be the scariest. And so growing up, we always saw these haunted houses and stuff. So once my brother became a teen, him and his buddies would decorate our entryway in our front yard with gravestones. And they put little chairs around the yard and put some dummies, like zombies, in the chairs. And 
they got dry ice to make a really spooky looking fog and they cranked the spooky tunes. They had a strobe light and then they would dress up as dead people and kind of slump over in the chairs. So you couldn't tell which ones were the fake dummies and which ones were them. And when the little kids would come, they would pop out, boo, and scare people. We lived right behind something that's a tourist attraction now in Glendora. Glendora is where I grew up. And there was something called Rubel Castle that our house was right in front of. And it's still there. It's actually a real castle. It's family owned. There are some little farms there. It has its own cemetery for the family. And people live there. And it's also a tourist attraction now. But back then, they would make it into the most amazing haunted house. And it was really scary because they had the family cemetery. That was the centerpiece. And I remember being a little girl and I couldn't even go near it. And you'd be walking through the house and walking down a corridor and then the a zombie or a mummy would pop down from the ceiling, which was so scary. There were some times I just couldn't even go in. I get scared really easily. So there are many times I couldn't even go. And now to the present day for myself, I'm going to dress up as Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to go to a party and I'm going to do the pumpkin carving and the seed roasting, the traditions. Now, we don't make a haunted house, and we don't even pass out candy to kids on our street because nobody trick-or-treats on our street. There's a street called Oak Street that they close down to traffic, but not our particular street, so it's a lot of fun. So that's a community tradition is Oak Street and how everybody decorates their houses. And I really hope that this holiday season, which kicks off with Halloween, I really hope it brings a lot of joy and connectedness that so many of us need right now in this time. So I hope you have a wonderful Halloween and let me know what are some of your Halloween traditions or holiday traditions in general? And do you remember any of your childhood costumes? <laughs>